Hey everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. Today we're going to be going over something that you probably don't even know about, which is called the document options or the document setup. And um, after you create a document, you can use the document setup. Um, it's in the file menu there to change your document's default options. And you might not have known that it has options, but there's things that you can change in there like the language, uh, the type of quotes they're using. Um, you can fix the bleed if you need to and things like that. So you can always go in and uh, fix up stuff even after you have created a new document and set everything already. So let's go ahead and get this going on. Let's go to File up here in the menu bar. And then we're going to go to Document Setup. Here we go. And you don't need to do this every time, but if you learn what's in here, you can realize if you need to use it or not, depending on what you're doing. So we're going to start out here with um, our bleed and view options. If you click on Edit Artboards, it's going to close this dialog box, and it's going to use the art Artboard tools to edit artboards. So um, if I click on that, now I've got my artboard tool where I can uh, fix my or edit my artboards or add a new one or whatever. So let me go back to what I was at before. There we go. And we've got our units now. Now it's going to specify the measurement um, units for there for the uh, document. So we're going to use points. Picas, inches, millimeters, centimeters, or pixels, up to you. We've got our bleed here, and that's the uh, amount of bleed around the edges of the document. So if you have zero, then it's going to go right to the edge. Um, we've got a couple boxes here that you can check. Um, show images in outline mode is going to do exactly what it says. Highlight substituted fonts, and it's going to be able to... Uh, if you select this, you're going to be able to highlight unavailable fonts that are substituted for existing fonts on your computer. And then we've got highlight substitute glyphs, and that's basically the same thing except for exchange the word font for glyphs. All right, let's go down here into the uh, transparency here. We've got grid size, small, medium, or large. And if you look on the right, you can see the different grid size. So usually you stick with medium, but I mean, it really doesn't matter. Grid colors, you can um, change the colors of the grid. Dark, whatever, custom. You can change them to blue if you want, or purple, whatever you want to. We've got a little uh, thing going on here. Well, let me go back to light. We've got a little uh, checkbox going on here called simulate colored paper. And if you plan to print on colored paper, then you're going to want to check this. So if I check that, then I'll be uh, able to, it kind of like replicates the effect of colored paper. All right, and then we've got some presets here. You can specify the uh, resolution for your preset under this box, or drop down menu, or you can go to custom. <clears throat> if I click custom, then I've got some more options here. And uh, just, uh, I'm not going to go over these because I uh, don't need to right now. Let's, uh, let's go to our type options. And uh, we've got use typographer's quotes. And you use this, if it's checked, um, to, to use curly quotes instead of straight quotes. So that's what that means. Then our language. We've got double quotes here. And then our single quotes. Or you can change them up which is pretty cool. Um, we've got our size, and this is the size and position of the superscript, the subscript, and then our small caps. So those are different types of fonts. And then we've got our export here, and um, this is to preserve the uh, text. So we can either, either preserve the text editability or the text appearance. So editability, if you're going to use the uh, option, I mean, if you're going to come back sometime and probably fix it, but if you think it's the last thing you'll ever do in this document, you might want to check preserve text appearance. So uh, that's all that we got going on here with the uh, document setup. 
So now you understand this, and now you now you know you can change things around a bit, and you don't have to always stick with what's right here on your sc screen. And that's one of the good things about Illustrator is you have a lot of flexibility, and you can fix stuff up and change stuff around if you really need to. So thank you for watching this one. Hopefully you guys learned about document setup, and if you never if you have never even heard of it, that's great. So now you've heard of it, and you've learned something new. So thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later in a next tutorial.